Good day guys, Austin here, and in this video today, we're going to be looking at controller issues and woes. And even if your controller is working, please continue to watch this video, because although you may think it's working, it may not be working in the way you want it to. So, please continue to watch. Right, now we've got that out of the way. Basically, what's been happening is I've been getting inundated. Windows itself seems to be updated with some crazy updates, and also with everybody upgrading the programs to certain uh, versions, should I say. Um, controls seem to be failing like nobody's business. Now, what I want to do is give you a kind of baseline to be working off, so make sure that everybody has their controllers set up specifically the way it's supposed to be intended now what I'm talking about is controllers not working all together I'm on about controllers that are working but not as intended controllers that are working with certain programs are not working with others and of course the ones where nothing's working at all and it's usually to do with because it's not configured correctly Okay, so the types of controllers we're going to be looking at is the Xbox controller. Now, this is across the board. I know that you do this kind of thing with all the setups anyway. However, I'm going to be showing you today the Xbox version of it. Now, I'm talking about the official Xbox official pad. I do know that this works on the unofficial ones, but of course, because there's not many unofficial ones, I can't vouch for them all, can I? I, myself, am an official Xbox pad user, and I am an official... Um, Oh, sorry, an unofficial dongle user. Basically, I've got that many systems set up around the house and the place that if I was to buy a dongle for any one, every one of these systems, then uh, Microsoft would be rich, let's put it that way. <laughs> not that they're not anyway. Um, so I use non-official ones. Again, I cannot vouch for the non-official ones, although mine only cost me $3 and it came from China. That's the one that I always buy. I'm not going to post it because I don't want to be held accountable for people wasting their money on products that don't work and could cause more problems down the line. So that's the kind of setup that we're going to be going for. Now, I know that you have to do this anyway for wired or, or wireless setups. You know, It's not just for the wireless side of things. And the operating systems that we're going to be looking at is this fix or this solution or this test, I don't know, what we should be looking at today works on both uh, XP, I don't want to mention the, its name, but Vista, although it should be burned from the scars and history of time for its abortion that it gave us. Um, and obviously Windows 7, 8, I cannot vouch for 10 because although I've had a little play with it, I don't know how their control panel works. And, well, without further ado then, let's actually get stuck in and get this done because this should be a quick video today. Right then, so what we want to be doing is, first off, go down to your control panel. Now for me, a Windows 8.1 user, what I do is I go down to the start menu, <laughs> I put the start menu in there. I'm sure it's a key across the board because nobody likes no start menu. Um, I go to my control panel and then I'm greeted with something similar to this because I've asked Windows to show me the classic view and I like it to be shown in large icons. But you know, you may greet with something different, but the same thing should work anyway. Okay, first thing we need to do then is go to device manager for this to load up and you should be greeted with something like this now what I've done at this moment in time I've plugged my dongle into my laptop and although it shows me a green light and although I can sync my controller to the dongle so it looks like it's working it's not actually working and the way I can see that is because if we go over to let's full screen this not like it needs to be um, if we go to the left hand side here where it says other devices, basically it showed me up an unknown device. Now don't get me wrong, that could be anything that's plugged into this computer. But it just so happens that because this is my laptop, the only USB device or the only thing that's plugged into it is power, the USB headset that I'm using right now, and the dongle that's plugged in there. And I know that the recording stuff's working, so it must be that my dongle isn't working the way as intended. So the easiest thing to do is click on there double click and it will say come up with a box similar to this now within this box what I want you to do is go and update driver now if yours is working or if yours isn't showing that you know unknown device or whatever it is you should have a peripheral um, little spur coming down somewhere down here that you know controllers or external devices something along them lines something that basically says 
uh, sound video and game controllers. Now when I go in there, as you can see, I've got my headset plugged in there, but there's nothing that gives me anything to do with the actual controllers I want to be working on. Depends on your Windows system to how this looks, but you can see what I'm getting at here. Um, right, so let's get back into here. Okay then, so when we clicked on the update driver, then we're greeted with a box similar to this one. Now, it, the ideal solution would be to click on this. However, trust me, I've been doing this for many, many moon, and whenever you press this, it'll go online, it'll come back, oh, we don't recognize anything to do with that shit that you just plugged into this computer. Um, you have to sort it out yourself. So the easiest thing to do is just go browse my computer for driver software. Next thing we're going to be doing that is let me pick from a list of drivers on this computer. The easiest option to pick. Now, I know that I'm using the Xbox 360 controller, so I scroll all the way down to the bottom, and here we are, Xbox 360 peripherals. Now, all I need to do is double click on that, and I'll be greeted with a list. Now, depending on what version of Windows you're using, you will have automatically drivers plugged into them. Now, I can't vouch for them all. Obviously, during the old uh, XP days and stuff like that, um, uh, Windows 7, early days, Vista especially, I got no idea. Um, they never used to have the drivers built in a standard in Windows, so you may or will more than likely have to install them kind of drivers if they're available. Um, that would be from obviously the Microsoft website and all that kind of good stuff. However, anyone from 7 and upwards that's been using Windows updates, they will be installed as, as standard to be honest. So when you get to this screen, you should have at the very least three options here to play with. And you've got the obvious controller for Windows, wireless controller and charge and plug and play kit, or the wireless receiver for Windows. Now, depending on which best suits your setup is the option that you pick here. Now sometimes, those of you who have got your controller actually working, it may be because one of these is the wrong settings. Basically, you plugged it in Windows for us, oh, an Xbox 360 pad. However, when it's then installed the drivers and using the drivers, it's chosen the wrong one because Windows sometimes, let's face it, it's not the most cleverest of cards in the back, is it? So it's chosen the wrong one. So pick one which best suits your Windows. So in my case, I know that I always pick this because it always works for me. So I want to use the wireless receiver version and it brings me up with this. Basically, it's warning saying that this may not be what you think it is. Do you want to double check and make sure that you use these drivers for it? Well, to be honest, I do, yes. Now it's going to install the software. And there, now it's brought up my Xbox pad. So now, when I then turn on the Xbox pad, it works as intended. I have to say that, although it's probably woke now. There we go. So it's synced up and everything's working as I want it to. Now, like I said, you may have a different version of your Windows pad. Oh, sorry, your, your Xbox pad. So in this case, what you want to be doing is obviously picking the one that suits you. However, Again, depending on if it's official, non-official, different types of build, different drivers, although they may not match the one that you have, work better with different pads. I know which one's safest for mine, the one that I just used now, and that's the one I use. So please, the very basic that you should be doing is checking your pads and making sure that they are configured correctly. If you then have any issues later down the line, have a play around with these Xbox 360, uh, what's it called? Drivers, fucking hell, brain farts today. Okay, so let's close this down. Everything should be working tickety boo. I'm not going to show you how to test it because that's blatantly obvious how. But as you can see now, added to the list, I've now got at the bottom of the list Xbox 360 peripherals. And I know that this works with the different types of Xbox controllers also. Now, obviously, when you're doing this with, I don't know, your different types of controllers, it's the same process. You need to be picking the one that suits your controller. If you've got one that's of a different format, different make different type then find one that suits you most of the time 99% of the time if you've got an up-to-date ish windows it will be in there ready for you to use that is it that is how simple it is now I know I probably just wasted five minutes of your life but at least it's five minutes now rather than four hours later down the line trying to pull your hair out figuring out why certain things aren't working on your computer so Thank you very much for watching. If you do have any troubles or if you have any comments about this, please put them down below because then I can advise other people and help them out with anything that, you know, couldn't fix your troubles. And 
make sure you like, share, and subscribe so everybody finds out about this kind of stuff. And most of all, you guys have a good day. I'll catch you later. Bye.